Our discussion of uh, I want to say Planet of the Dinosaurs, but not Planet of the Dinosaurs. Um, dinosaurs, dinosaurs on a spaceship. Um, I am your yes. I am your host, David Wishaw. This is Angela Pritchett. And this is Drew Meyer. And, and we're GPR. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> Gallifrey Pirate Radio. And while mere seconds have passed for you, for us, it has been a beard's worth of time. Yes. And it's getting dark out here. It is. So um, we were we were discussing as the camera ran out of power on us, um, which doctor would be the one answering or asking the doctor the doctor a question. If and that's who actually answers the question. Because Drew, of course, yet again. I have a new theory about that. A new theory, and every week. Every week. Yes, and so I was about to say before the car- camera cut off, and Drew said William Hartnell, um, Baker. Tom Baker would be the perfect doctor for, for him to answer the question. He's going to go in there with his bad attitude and be like, Psh, who the, are you? Yeah, <laughs> probably. Baker's going to be involved Pretty much. with him, probably. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, uh, you know, Baker signed on to do something, so... Well, unofficially. The official press release has not come out yet saying it's official. Unofficially, he's signed up yeah. to do, do something. He will be operating the boom for episodes <laughs> three and four. For the 50th anniversary special. Like this? I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, um, So, well, since we recorded yeah. the last episode, we've had two new episodes come out, so we should probably talk about that. First off, you'll be happy to know that David Beauchamp is feeling better. Yes, but wait, shouldn't we finish your thoughts about the dinosaur episode? Well, oh, sure. Yeah. Yeah, uh, that's, that's what we're here to awesome do first. Go watch it. Yeah. No, you want to say something about the, uh, the father. I do. Well, uh, I want to talk about Wilf, I mean Brian. <laughs> um, I mean, come on. Let's face it. He's Mr. he's a wolf. Weasley. He's a wolf character, and 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 I think he's he's wolf. You can't beat Bernard Cribbins. Bernard Cribbins may very well be my favorite companion of all time, just because, my God, it was the only positive thing about that episode. End of time. Last end of discussion. Oh, I right. don't. So anyway, uh... so Moffat has this chance to take what was essentially an amazing idea and bring it in there. Um, and I thought Roy's father was brilliant. Um, but Moffat was. I know, that's why I'm saying yeah. he got a chance to take what's a really good idea uh-huh. and actually do something with it. And uh, I am not ashamed to admit that, um, obviously spoilers, the the moment that you have this kind of shift in, in, in Brian Williams' kind of mental state, we this shut-in, only golfs, he's prepared for anything but never does anything. Yeah. Suddenly he decides that he's this this is a life adventure. He's happy, he's flying a spaceship, he's awesome. I love that by the way, the, the genetic lines. Yeah, and that him was sitting pretty there cool. having a cuppa and a sandwich yes! and sitting hanging his legs out just like Amy did and walking to planet Earth. And I cried. I, I missed it up and a tear came down. It was Aww. a very beautiful moment. Because that's the kind of thing I'm just, and I'll tell you something. I'm okay with Amy and, that moment made me okay with Amy and Rory leaving because I realized that they had not seen it all, but they've gotten used to the adventure. Yeah. And here is what makes a companion truly amazing is they haven't seen it yet. And 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 here you have Rory's dad sees it for the first time and we can see this reaction to it. He's okay yeah. with it and he's cool with it. And as we'll see in two episodes later, he's pretty awesome about it. And yeah. I really I really enjoyed that. And so the postcard little montage at the end. I thought was was pretty awesome, and, except I didn't like the doctor's postcard from uh, I didn't Solaria. either. Um, not only oh, and Davies disappeared again. Oh, not yeah. only no. not only was it a drawing instead oh, of a, a photograph, that? yeah, but it was the wrong TARDIS. Um, it didn't have the St. John's emblem on the door, and I know it's that's so nerdy of me to notice that and say anything mm-hmm. about it, but. Um, so it's cool. So they're out somewhere out there is a planet of dinosaurs oh, that we could visit later. You know what would be so funny if if that actually is the correct TARDIS and we go back and the TARDIS actually goes there is one without the medallion. 
No. Oh. Sure, because we don't know when it happened. Exactly. The, the TARDIS is infinite amount of space on the inside. Maybe the dinosaurs are all... How do they get the dinosaurs into the TARDIS? They're chilling out. I don't inside. know. Oh, it's just a teleporter. He can yeah. tele... No, no, the thing blew up. They're, they're chilling, no, it didn't, it didn't they're chilling out in the swimming pool. He just he traveled in this, this spaceship. Yeah. <laughs> he puts them in the, in the swimming <laughs> they're pool. They're chilling out in the swimming which pool. Which may or may not have been jettisoned <laughs> yeah. several times. Pool. Um, so anything else about uh, Invasion of No. I, wonder why I, I want to call it every other title but Dinosaurs on the Spaceship. Invasion of Dinosaurs. Anything else on Invasion of Dinosaurs. The only there? other thing I'd like to add is, as Angela has drawn attention to the amazing Zero Bryant posters. Oh my um, gosh. Incredible. Incredible. Go and look at our Facebook page. I posted a link to the Dinosaurs on a Spaceship one. It looks amazing. It they is. all look amazing. That I, well, Dinosaurs on a Spaceship particularly well yes. well done a zero brian wonderful concept. and actually i'm wearing a zero brian tee tonight very cute yes very nice is that something in the background yes the cybermen and oh C it's C a cyberman and c3po C yeah. laughing yes <laughs> i like it okay anything else about this episode it was really good go watch it if you haven't seen it i really hope you've seen it if you watch this episode yes. So it's getting dark. Yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> and um, ankylosauruses, they were awesome. Okay, so this is this episode, mini episode, uh, finishing out. Um, so until next time, peace. Bye. Let's go.